So at this point, we've created some assets, screenshots, and icons and such. And we've uploaded them to our, to our, uh, to our app um, listing. And so I filled in the items that are required, but I can still do at least one more optional one, the promotional image. That's the one that's like a wide banner graphic. We can work on that a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do the Amazon Fire TV screenshot or the video because uh, the video takes much more effort to do, but you could do simply like my example that I've shown previously where I have one recording device and I, and I just am going through my app and tapping things and just recording it. That'll work. What I also did was, of course, put a little music under it. I did some, uh, some edits where, that, where this video fades into that video and then put some text on it. And that, um, and that was my video. It took a little more effort, of course, but at the very minimum, you can just do what I said. Record it like that, upload it, and that's it. If you are interested in some video editing, you have a couple of options. If you're on Windows, you can download the free Windows Movie Maker. Uh, I don't believe they have it installed by default anymore, but it's a free download, officially from Microsoft. So Windows Movie Maker is what I've used recently several times to create some interesting videos, and it's, it's, not, it's not Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere and such, but it can, it can do the job. You can put several video clips together, you know, fade them into each other, put some text, put some music, export in HD quality, all of that, and it's, and it's free. You just need to download it. Yeah, we don't have it installed on these computers. We're not going to set it up here, but you, you would just download it on your computer. It's for Windows 8, Windows 7, etc. You download it, you play with it, and, and you can make some, some cool, simple videos. Uh, on the Mac, I really like iMovie. iMovie is uh, just about the same thing. You put video clips together, transitions, text, a theme, etc., and then you create videos. So I've worked with both iMovie and Movie Maker, and they both are very good um, for our level, perhaps, of, uh, of experience. Uh, has anyone worked with any video production software before? A few people. Okay, can I ask what have you used over here? Uh, Movie Maker. Okay, and, and over here, James. What I love I love it. I love it. And what about yourself, Reason? Which one? Premier. Oh, Premiere Pro, actually. Oh, okay, so uh, the whole range of um, of apps. So that's what I recommend: uh, Windows Movie Maker or iMovie um, to make your video. We're not going to do it ourselves, but that's what you could do. What we will do is we will create that promotional image. Notice I, I don't have the button to upload the promo image anymore. That's because Amazon thinks that I'm done with that screen. I don't got the green check mark. But I can edit. I can further edit any screen. I've got an edit button at the bottom. So I will select edit. And then it takes me back to being able to add the other screenshots. Promotional image. So, as I made a note, this is 1024 by 500 pixels. Landscape only. Ping or JPEG. No mention of transparency. So, if you still have my icon open in Photoshop, we can repurpose it for that promotional, promotional image. We can do this up on the image menu. Go to image, duplicate. It'll take our current image, make a copy of it in memory, so then we can edit it. Because maybe I don't want to edit my original image. I want to copy. This is a duplicate. So image, duplicate. And then it says, what would you like to call it? I'll call it promo 
image. 1024. I might as well. 1024 by 500 since it's not a square. So once I've duplicated this, you can click OK. And then at the top, you should see you've got a tab, the original launcher icon, and then now this promo image. So be careful what you're editing. The one that is highlighted is the one we're currently editing. So Amazon tells me I want a size of 1,024 by 500. Now my image is currently a height of 512, so it's 12 pixels too large. So we're going to resize our picture. Uh, you've got your promo image open. We can go to Image, Menu, Image Size. The canvas size and image size, those are different. Image size takes whatever you have and either shrinks it or grows it. Canvas size cuts away or adds to an image. So Image size. And it says, what would you like to change this to? Change your height to 500. Don't worry about the width, because again, this is to change the size of what currently exists. If I were to put in 500 here and then 1,024 here, it would put them both at 1,024. And even if I change, even if I turn off this lock or uh, proportions and say 500, that would make it 1024 by 500, but it would distort it. It would take my current picture and stretch it really wide, really weird, and shrink it down the 500 width. So we won't do that. We'll keep it at 500 height, and yes, it's going to be 500 width, but we'll do canvas size. So let's change that height to 500. Click OK. So very small change, but it's 500 tall now. And now we'll go to Image menu canvas size. And this is what I'm saying about image size takes whatever image you have and grows it or shrinks it. Canvas size can add more space or remove space to your image. And that's what we need here. We need you know, about 500 more pixels. So let's go to can image menu canvas size. By default, it says, okay, these are your inches. I don't want inches, I want pixels. So change that, that width to pixels. All right, so then it shows you got 500 by 500. And on width, actually, we want 1,024 by 500. So what this will do is it will notice the icon here. It's going to expand. It's going to add more to my existing image. I went from 500 wide to 1,024 wide. What it's going to do is add an equal amount to the left and the right side of the image. I started with 500, so it'll have you know, 256 on the left and the right. So my picture will stay in the middle and it'll equal amount on the left and the right. But actually what I want is I want more space but on the right side of my picture. I want a picture here and some space here maybe to write some text. So what we want to do is in this little nine square grid, I want to select this left one because what this does, it anchors it, it says, Leave, uh, leave what is current here alone and add to the right of it. If I have that anchor in the center, that's what I'm saying, that it'll add an equal amount on the left and right to keep your current image in the center. I want anchor what I currently have to the left and add the extra 524 pixels to the right. So click OK.
So now I've added those pixels to the right. If I hadn't done that, if I hadn't anchored it, I would have added it to the left and the right. You might want that, but I want it to the right side. Now, Amazon said uh, those are dimensions, landscape only, ping or JPEG, no transparency. Our graphic currently has transparency, that's why we've got the checkerboard. So I actually want to put maybe just a simple white background behind everything. I've set this graphic up, but there's a layer back here called blank, which is empty. I want to fill that with white, so click on your blank layer to select it. And then on the left side, we should have a bunch of icons. One is this little gradient. It goes from one color to another. Uh, if you click and hold it, click and hold that icon for a moment, the gradient tool, you get the paint bucket tool. So the gradient will have a color blending into another color. You could do that if you want. But I just want a simple white color in my background. So the paint bucket is hidden inside of the gradient tool. Click and hold it for a moment and get the paint bucket. Once we've got the paint bucket, at the bottom here, it's cut off on mine, but it shows we're about to drop the color black on the background. If you click there, everything becomes black. Maybe you don't want that. Instead, I want to click this little flip to switch. I'm going to use white. See how there's a switch there. You want the white color on top, and when you click, now you've got white in your background. So there's a difference here. This was transparent. This is white background. Did everyone get that? If you don't see if you don't see your layers, let's see, you see your layers Wow. 
by default you you can't you can't download from YouTube. You have to watch it or something. That's what you want. Oh, but uh, if you set up a small and put the same key, do you have a black one too? Okay, before you leave, remind me, and I'll see if I can. So that's the way I can have people back to the channel. I can download my videos from my YouTube. It's not ready to do. So there might be. So before you leave, and remind me to do it, I'll see if I can download it. So Okay, so if you have this promo image now, you can do a variety of things here, right? You can, um, you've got like this empty area on the right side where you can add more pictures or you can add um, anything you want. But what we'll do is uh, we'll use this as a space sort of also to, to promote the, the app. Uh, remember what I did over on Amazon when I was, or when we were all setting up our description, we had bullet points. So perhaps we can do something like that. We can make some bullet points, add a couple of lines. What I want to do is put the name of the app. I'm going to say, you know, my STCE and then by Victor, Victor Apps, whatever my company is called, and then some of those bullet points. So for more branding and advertising. So here in Photoshop, we've got a very powerful text um, editing tool. On the left side, one of our tools has a little T. That's the text or the horizontal type tool. We can also do vertical text, upside down text, all of that. But if you click on that, then at the top you have, you get options right here for fonts and sizes and, and all of that. So what I'm going to do is you have to make sure you switch your colors here back to black because if it's still white, what's going to happen is you're going to write white text on a white background and that's invisible. So make sure your text, make sure your color down here is set is reversed back to black or any color you want, the green or, or whatever color you've done. Um, you can choose more colors by clicking, you can click on that little color box. If you click your color box one time, it brings up the color picker here. You can go in and select any colors you want. I'm going to type some text over here. It looks like what we want first is at the top you've got a variety of fonts but uh, it looks like at least you want to change this value here. This is the font size. Change it to 48. You might make it larger or smaller depending on some factors but currently it's set to 12. It's too small. It looks like 48 will work so if you click if you select the 48 and then click here and start typing, I'm going to say this is uh, my SDC app, enter by you know, whatever your company is, victorapps.com. If you don't like that font, you can of course select your text and change it to a different font. All of the fonts that are available uh, on our computer are available for our design here. And this is what I'm saying that uh, if we make it too large, <coughs> my guy cut off here, you can make different parts of your text different sizes. Let's say this line, is 36. You can also move this around. If you click and drag on your text, it'll select it. But if you move your mouse away from your text, out here somewhere, notice my, uh, my cursor becomes that arrow. When the cursor is on top of your text, it looks like you can select your text 
but when your cursor is away from your text, you can move your text. What we've got here is a little area for text. So let's say here, you know, I wrote the name of the app, my company, maybe write a little uh, description here, you know, something like the fun and free um, Android app <coughs> to check out. So I'm pressing enter when I get to the end of the screen. It's not going to automatically word wrap for me. You have to press enter when you get to the end to check out the classes, to check out all the classes, all the free classes. So this is again, um, we're at a point where we're working together, but you should be making your own version of this stuff. So hopefully you slightly change it, uh, maybe put in your own, uh, your own adjectives. Uh, but we, we want to write a little something like that, different colors, different fonts, different sizes. Once you're finished writing this, this uh, paragraph of text near the top right, you should have a little check mark at the end of the row of your text options. You can either cancel what you were doing, don't do that, or click the check mark, and now it's become permanent. Well, still editable, but I mean you're, you're done editing for the moment. And this is what I've got. So this is what my promo image is going to be. It'll be my icon, a little bit of text where I use to show off, you know, uh, promote myself, my company a little bit, and then a little text description. Now previously when we worked on that image and we wanted to prepare it to upload to Amazon, there was a step that we did here in Photoshop. We'll need to do the same step. Anyone remember what that step was? To convert. Save for web. Save for web, yes. So let's say we're done with it at this point. Let's go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Save for Web. Thank you. 
So we'll select Save for Web. I'm confirming my image size. I'm not going to need to change it, but that's what Amazon wants, 1024 by 500. At the top, uh, preset is ping 24, and I don't need transparency, so turn off transparency this time. So I'll save that, and I'm saving it to my folder. Since earlier we did duplicate, image duplicate, and it asked us for a name, hopefully it's, it's remembering your name there. If not, you can change it, of course, but I'm calling mine promo image dot ping. I'll save that. And so in my folder, here's all the items that I have, the large image, the small image, the promo image, the screenshots. If you took it from my folder, the IC launcher is the parent of the large image and the small image. That one, though, uh, you, we created together right now but it might be a good idea to save what you've got here because you might want to change it later. So we want to save the we want to save a Photoshop file also. The ping file, a JPEG file, those kinds of graphics are the final production ready kinds of graphics. Therefore they're not easily editable if you want to make changes later. So if I were to re-release the app and I wanted to write something else here it'll be relatively difficult to change that text now that it's become a ping, the final version of the graphic. Uh, I showed you that when I gave you my PSD for my icon, you could still edit it. So that's what I want to save in addition to my promo image ping, I want to save my promo image PSD file, my Photoshop document. So back in Photoshop here, I'm still working on my promo image file, and this time I'll go to File, Save As. Save for Web is what creates the final production-ready file, or graphic, and Save As is where I can save my work-in-progress file, my PSD file, the one that still has my editable text, editable colors, etc. So we'll go to File, Save As. I'm going to go back to that folder where I'm saving all my stuff. store assets, and down here, file name, file format, make sure the format is Photoshop. So from that list, if it's not already selected, select Photoshop, which is the very first item, and what this does, it'll save your layers and every other special thing you did with your graphic. That's my work in progress graphic usually very important to save because if I want to come back a month later and change my whole color scheme and change my text and all of that, that's what I want to open and edit and then save as ping again. I don't really want to work with my finished ping because it's not really as editable anymore. So let's make sure we save that as PSD, Photoshop document. Uh, it uh, might ask you about compatibility. Go ahead and leave it as is and click OK. That just means if you want to be able to open this Photoshop file in as many versions of Photoshop as possible, because uh, there's a lot of them. I made my graphic in, in Photoshop CS6, and here we've got CS5, an older version, and there's newer version, Creative Cloud. So if we maximize compatibility, our graphic should be compatible with different versions of Photoshop. Just click OK. And now in my folder, I've got my original work in progress PSD file for my images, the square ones, and for my promo image. So I can come back to that next time and keep editing it.
I've got the promo ping file ready, so I'll go back to Amazon. And under the images and multimedia, I can continue to edit that screen. And I will upload my promo image. Only one is necessary here. So I get a preview of it. And I'll save. Question. Are you sure you're uploading? You've are you sure you've selected the one called PNG, not PSD? So I've got green check marks on all of these. I can go back through each one of them quickly to see if there's anything that I might have missed, uh, like spelling-wise and such. In my case, like I said, um, yeah, this is a this is a this is a test app. This is a proof of concept. It's not like a real fully finished app. I I'm doing this unofficially and so forth. But I've gone, you know, two months ago, two and a half, nearly three months ago. Uh, you know, started with with an idea, wrote this HTML for it, jQuery Mobile. Um, went on and added PhoneGap and created an Android app and added now created some of these assets, customized the colors and such. It's an app. It's, it's got the functionality. We've tested it on real and virtual devices. We're one click away from going to the process of letting the whole world, potentially, uh, download it. You, again, have to decide, do you, do you want to pull the trigger? Do you want to go all the way? You're able to now. You can, of course, do this, the final submit here, and then later on we could, we could remove it. We could un uninstall it from the from the App Store. Um, that's of course up to you if you want to do any of that. Uh, I will do this and then we'll take our break and then we'll continue to look at what we what we need to do here because again we've got an app, it might be a great app, maybe we spent even more time on it, six months, nine months, twelve months, we've got this perfect app and every every new app developer struggles with this. We've got this app, how do we get it into the hands of people? How do we get people to check it out? to give us feedback and all of that. That's what we'll be talking about after the break. Um, but I'm going to click Submit, and when we come back, we'll, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll, we'll look at uh, the aspect of promoting this app. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and click Submit. This uh, might then become available soon or not. It, it varies. So that's why I'll also take a break. Even if it's not a fully available just yet, that's fine. Uh, but mine has been submitted. It's not available yet, and uh, hopefully we, it, it will by the end of the day, maybe. But if not, that's okay. Let's take a 10-minute break. It's 8.06. We'll be back at 8.16. Uh, we'll talk more now about promotion. <laughs>